City of Light. We are all aware of this term as we refer to it as the most populated and most urbanized city. But this time, scientists are looking for cities of lights in space or on other planets. To find something new, there is an utter need for modern technology. This video will explain how artificial light can be detected on Proxima b using James Webb Telescope. Before diving deep into the topic, let's first remind you to like the video. And if you are new to our channel, then do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Have you done it? Great. Let's get straight into the video. Before moving towards the discoveries of James Webb, let's first make us clear about Proxima b and its uniqueness. Proxima b and why it is unique. Proxima b is the closest to its red dwarf and the first star facing the sun. It was discovered in 2016 and is thought to be a slightly larger rocky terrestrial planet than Earth. There is also a prediction of the existence of liquid water. Due to its closeness to the red dwarf and the sun, it is likely to be locked by the tide and has a permanent night face. In finding the city of light on the planets, Proxima b is the best option to explore, and there are some indications of light from this star. Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf located 4.25 light years away, this star is nearly 600 times fainter than the sun, and so a planet needs to be 20 times closer to Proxima's furnace than the Earth is to the sun. According to 2016 discoveries, it was Notice that a planet is weighing 1.3 times Earth's masses in this habitable zone. Also, in its proximity to the sun, there is thought to be a tidal lock, which means two permanent sides. In a broader sense, star has the same side all the time. Proxima b has a permanent day side and a permanent night side, just like the moon does relative to the Earth. Let's suppose Proxima is already inhabited. Then, in terms of technological civilization, it is considered that if Proxima b is already inhabited by technological civilization, the day side of the star has a coat of photovoltaic cells to produce electricity. That electricity would illuminate and warm the night side, otherwise too cold and dark for a comfortable life. This uniqueness of Proxima b demands something extraordinary and efficient to find the signs of light, life, and civilization in it. And for that, the thing that comes into the mind of scientists is James Webb Space Telescope. James Webb Space Telescope. Telescopes are the partners of scientists in discovering the universe, and this time, James Webb is taking a route to find the light signals on Proxima b. In terms of the itinerary of the James Webb Telescope, it is set to launch on Christmas Eve. It is the successor to Hubble and was founded by NASA. James Webb Telescope is considered better than Hubble as it is an infrared telescope and has a wider spectrum image than the Hubble telescope. This telescope can move further and deeper than Hubble and be the most important and even scariest event on the face of the world. This telescope can orbit the sun at 1,400,000 kilometers from Earth. Its purpose was to look back. In October 2021, this telescope was launched and is expected to take its first flight or take a step towards its first mission in 2022. And now it is thought that this telescope might take its first flight to find the artificial light on Proxima b. Indication of light on Proxima. Every day new inventions instigate scientists to search and do their job. And this time, this job is done by the Proxima light. Here the question is how scientists found the light on Proxima and, in other words, what are the indications of Proxima light? The scientists recorded the largest stellar flares. The plasma jets shot outward from the sun's nearest neighbor, the red dwarf star Proxima Centauri. The flare that was noticed first ever in our galaxy was around 100 times more powerful than any experienced in our solar system. This intrigues the scientists, compels them to think about them, and changes the way they think about solar radiation and alien life. Scientists used every available technology, such as Hubble Space Telescope, the Atacama Large Millimeter Submillimeter Array, and NASA's 
Transiting Exoplanet Survey Satellite to monitor the mega flares. It took 40 hours over several months and finally, on May 1st, 2019, the team captured the mega flare, which shone for just seven seconds and was mainly visible in the ultraviolet spectrum. In a statement, Meredith McGregor, a lead author at the University of Colorado Boulder said, the star went from normal to 14,000 times brighter when seen in ultraviolet wavelengths over the span of a few seconds. What kind of light is emitted by Proxima B? The next question that comes to our mind is the nature of humongous flares emitted from Proxima B. It is said that these flares are the result of a star's strong magnetic fields. Large amounts of electrically charged gas create these fields. We hope you know well about the electrically charged gases. In case not, let us explain this first. Electrically charged gases, also called plasma. The particles in plasma twist together and suddenly collect back into place. There they release an enormous amount of energy in the form of radiation. Those flares are more powerful than those emitted by the sun in terms of energy and power. Proxima B flares also remitted different kinds of radiation. Due to these radiations and concerning its effect, McGregor said, if life exists on the nearest planet of Proxima, then it can never be the same as on Earth. Further added, this planet must give a tough time to a human being. So to notice or to detect this light on the star now, James Webb is coming in the ground. How it would be possible to see artificial lights at Proxima Centauri B? Tabor and Loeb, two scientists committed to finding civilizations and life on stars and galaxies, introduced the artificial illumination scale. This scale is used as a fraction of the solar illumination reflecting from the planet's day side. According to the scale, 0% is dedicated to the night side and 100% to the day side, which means a star's night side is as bright as a daytime. For detection of civilization, scientists assume that hypothetical civilization is similar to LEDs on Earth, which have a distinct artificial spectrum. From this hypothetical situation, it is assumed that if the artificial night side illumination of Proxima B reaches 5% of the natural day side illumination, James Webb Space Telescope could detect the artificial light with 85% certainty. If artificial illumination reaches 9%, James Webb Space Telescope's detection confidence rises to 95%. 5% illumination of stars is more than enough compared to Earth's artificial illumination, which is only 0.001% of reflected stellar illumination. In other words, if Proxima b hosts a civilization as glowy as us, the James Webb Space Telescope wouldn't detect it. That scenario is plausible. Due to two sides of the star, Tabor and Loeb hypothesize that they use very bright orbital mirrors to reflect sunlight onto the night side of the planet which our telescopes could see. Efforts of NASA and Ivy Loeb. Loeb and NASA scientists dedicated their lives to finding extraterrestrial life in space. In this search, their next mission was Proxima B. After estimating James Webb's abilities and working with Ivy, Loeb and his team mentioned in a statement that, we discovered that James Webb Space Telescope would be able to detect LED artificial light that makes up 5% of the stellar energy. Our prediction requires the optimal performance of the near-infrared spectrophotometer. Even if this is not possible with James Webb Space Telescope, future observatories such as PLAY, it might be able to detect this artificial illumination. Luvior, the combined term used for large UV, optical, and infrared surveyor, is designed for a new multi-wavelength space telescope that NASA is studying. James Webb can characterize the planet's atmosphere by detecting the narrow band light reminiscent of LED bulbs. This idea will help calculate and match the amount of transmitted energy with the light curve. This procedure allows scientists to calculate the approach of the James Webb Space Telescope. Also, it indicates that detection of these wavelengths and flux values that match the level of artificial light should be expected by civilizations living in permanent darkness. 
scientists, astronomers, and we all are hoping the success of the James Webb Telescope hats your thoughts on this. Tell us in the comments. Also, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon.